All right, guys, so doing the very last final touches on my pack today. Uh, my real iron arm just came in. It's got the included screws and the arm itself. It's all metal. So I'm going to replace that today. All you got to do is take this off. Cut these nubs off. Make it flush. And then drill new holes uh, for these screws to go in here. Boom. That'll be done. <clears throat> um, it also comes with the brass fitting right here. So I can finally replace this with the brass fitting. And then I have my correct uh, Ghostbusters 1 ribbon cable that I'm going to install and I have this cat piece to go over it to make it look more metal or steel or silver or whatever so all right we'll see how that goes all right so I got the little nubbins cut off here I'm just gonna sand them real quick to make them just more flush and smooth I'm gonna drill a hole here to put this, this brass fitting in to screw that in. Um, I'm gonna drill two holes here for this, for the screws to go in here. Um, first, I'm actually gonna paint this black, I think. And before it completely fully cures, I'm gonna go ahead and scratch it off to make it all used and worn uh, like, a, like it does in the movie pack. Um, so that way I'm not actually using like, I'm not putting silver over black to make it look like it's worn. It's actually going to be worn and it's going to just keep scraping off the black paint on the corners and, and here and there for the uh, metal to um, show through on the bottom. And these are the screws. I don't know what size they are, but these are screws that come with that. <clears throat> um, I also have more spacers for the frame, Alice frame later. I'm going to put that back on. Or when I put it, take it off, put it back on. Um, so this is the only hose I'm using on this entire pack that is stock. This is the fake hose. I just didn't feel like, I'm kind of running out of steam here. I didn't feel like messing with putting a new hose between here and having a, all that stuff. So I'm just going to go and cut this off here. I'm going to drill out a hole inside of this blue tube for this to go into and this connects to this brass fitting here so brass fitting iron arm paint it weather it and then i'll start the uh ghostbusters one ribbon cable all right guys so i took my alice frame off put it back on after i added some more spacers so i had just one spacer here i bought two more to go here and here uh, you can find them on etsy uh, I think there's a few people making them now. Um, but so that really helps keep the um, pack off of the motherboard. Or the, I'm sorry, the Alice frame off of the motherboard. Like it should be, like it is in the movies. And uh, if you guys missed my video on how I made this motherboard, um, just look back at my other videos. I got all kinds of videos on how I did some of the stuff that I did. And, uh, yeah, so another thing I just did, I just put this real, um, ion arm on. So that's all real metal with the movie accurate screws on the inside. And I also put this brass fitting on top there. So, so that's done. Literally the very last thing I have to do, I just weathered my GB1 ribbon cable and I attached it to the, the, um, the holder or whatever you want to call it. I'll show you what I did with that. I did not do what most people have been doing. I thought maybe it'd be easier to go a different route. Um, I kind of cut corners by doing it. So I'll show you what I did. Um, I wouldn't say it's the best way to do it, but it was the way I just decided to do it. Um, kind of just saved, saved some hassle, but... Anyway, so I got finally got my real ion arm on. 
looks great. Painted it, it came all silver, painted it black, and then weathered it. Just scraped off, scraped off some of the black paint. So, yep, I'm gonna put my uh, GB ribbon on and I'm gonna be 100% done with this pack.